he asked me the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, I would like to run for the President of the United States. And he said, I would not want to run against that guy. We were actually in the waiting room and then um, we went through this narrow hallway and I was trying to figure out like exactly where we were and um, we walked in and there was the secretary and then we walked in and there was the Oval Office and it just kind of popped out at you and um, I was just like wow. Um, and when I actually walked through the threshold I was like wow, I'm in the Oval Office. Like it still hasn't completely sunk in yet. The Oval Office was smaller than I thought it was going to be. But the desk with President Trump behind it looked exactly like I thought it would. We went in, we shook his hand, um, and then he called us around the desk to chat a little bit, not just about why we were there for scouts, but what we plan to do in the future. He seemed very invested in learning about what the ten young people who had come to see him wanted to do with their lives, and was very encouraging about each of the career options, which ranged from computer engineer to someone who was an aspiring politician. Um, wow. And I think when I shook his hand, I was just like, I'm touching the hand of the President of the United States. And uh, that's something that is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, at least for me, probably. And I just can't imagine that I've had this opportunity through the scouting program. And then we lined up around his desk and he began to ask us personal questions, what we wanted to be when we grew up, where were we from. I didn't expect to get that kind of treatment from someone who's so busy and has so much to do and literally has the free world on their shoulders. And uh, when we were meeting with President Trump, it, was, it didn't really sink in quite at first that we were meeting the president of the free world, but eventually as it got uh, further along, it was more of a, hey, this guy runs the free world. This is incredible that we're even in his office, let alone talking to him. Oh, definitely no, no. I don't, never thought I would meet the president in his own office. Well, I'd always wanted to go to the White House, and I'd always wanted to um, meet the president face to face. So I, it was kind of like a fulfilling moment for me to do both of those at the same time. And it was amazing. Oh uh, yeah, as soon as I walked in, he, he liked my hair, so. After that, we made the presentations, um, which President Trump accepted gratefully, gracefully, and left pretty quickly, um, where we again ran into the Vice President, who seemed like he had come by to maybe take some more photos with the scouts. I think he's a big fan of the program. Uh, it was a lot of fun meeting my uh home representative from Mike Pence and uh, now vice president. Uh, me and him kind of had a special connection. He gave me a hug because I'm from Indiana and uh, he knows that we're fellow Hoosiers. So it was pretty cool to see and meet him. The White House itself, um, when we were actually touring the East Wing, um, it was really cool. Um, there was something I, I personally really love reading in books and they had a whole entire library filled with um, like old um, historic books and like there was actually a archive of like the president's words and stuff like that. Uh, th there's a room full of china. As, uh, as I didn't know there was a room full of very fine china there. And I think I would, that would be the first thing I would tell people. We saw all the portraits of the first ladies and the president. And definitely their china was also very interesting. You could see a little bit about the individual style. Rutherford B. Hayes had the most crazy china. You know, see pictures of the White House and to actually see it in person and be like, wow, like this is where like, history is made, something happens. And um, it was really cool to actually see that.